today's clean with me I have a to-do list to get done I've been actually putting all these things in the back burner but today today is that motivation that I'm gonna give you if you guys are just like me in a huge funk and not wanting to get up and clean or do anything productive this video is for you and of course I'm gonna start off in the kitchen because I feel like there's more that needs to be done in here than anywhere else because Every other room really doesn't have much. I feel like my kitchen is where everything is. And so it really gets messy really fast and I'm just trying to get the harder part out the way. And of course, Sire wants to come and give mommy some love. He always does when he sees me cleaning. He sees me actually doing something. He wants to be all up on me, okay? So you'll see him and Weston in the video. So I know you guys probably don't mind, but this is realistic, this is real life, okay? I'm a mom of three and a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home wife, okay? So you'll be seeing these kids around a lot. on my to-do list was to clean the inside of my dishwasher I haven't cleaned this out or I, at all actually let's get that straight since I moved here and it wasn't bad it just had a little bit of gunkiness so I ended up just putting some soap and hot water and that's pretty much it if you guys are wondering what's in the bottle it's just water and bleach I wanted to really thoroughly sanitize the house and obviously the counters before I start doing dishes. So if you guys are wondering where I got my drying rack, I got it from TJ Maxx for I believe $7.99. I went on Amazon trying to look for one because I seen it on West Elm for I believe $16, but it was like a nude color and I'm like, there's gonna be so much stains on this. So when I went to TJ Maxx, I ended up coming across this black one. They have other colors obviously, but it's so much cheaper at TJ Maxx. You can probably even find it at Marshalls, I think. So I've been trying to do a new method on washing dishes because I had a few people comment about me wasting water and I'm like, you know something, you guys are right. I'm gonna try a different way to do my dishes. So what I did was just clean out the sink. Well, I took out the dishes, clean out the sink, and now I'm washing the dishes. And then I'm gonna rinse. Am I the only one that likes to use pure hot water? I do, because it really takes off the oil, the grease off the plates, the cups, and that's why I use the gloves, because I'm not burning my fingers, and these really come in handy. hoping when I move I have a really nice kitchen like this one because I'm a sucker for a nice kitchen okay and that's one thing I'm nervous about is my kitchen when I move for it to not be up to my liking but we'll see I'm hoping that we can find a nice place for us to really settle down and make it home 
for a while. If you guys don't know, my husband David is in the army. He just joined this year. And so we will be moving within four to five months from now. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. I am just cleaning the bottom cabinets because they're so bad, like things dripped on them, there's dust. The top ones are not bad so I didn't touch those up, but I feel like whenever I clean I usually try to like make sure there's no like scuffs or fingerprints or anything like that. I've been trying to tackle underneath the sink for quite some time now and I'm like it just needs to be done. I'm kind of upset because we did have like a sink issue a while ago and it kind of damaged the plywood so it looks really nasty. You can't see it on the camera but it's kind of gross so I do try to like put organizers in here and this organizer actually was in Aiden's room for his toys and then I used it for clothes so honestly having organization plastic um, bins are like a must in a house because like if you don't use it in the kitchen if you don't use it in like the bedrooms you can always switch it around and I feel like it's so versatile <laughs> If you guys are interested in anything you guys see throughout the video, I'm going to try to link as much as I can down below. So like these, I got off Amazon and I really love them. I want to purchase bigger ones. I seen in the comments a few people ask if I was always a minimalist. Growing up, no, I wasn't. I was actually living in a household full of a lot of junk and I feel like once I was able to move out on my own, I knew I didn't want to live like that because it just really brought a lot of stress. I feel like even to my mom and just my siblings in general. And so, you know, just moving out on my own, I knew I always wanted a clean space and I try to keep it clean, okay? This is probably the messiest because I don't know if I mentioned before in my other cleaning videos, which I know I have, I cleaned throughout the day. Today was the day I did not clean because I really wanted a good video for you guys. not gonna be cleaning out my oven because I barely use it I gravitate towards my air fryer way more and I only make my cookies in the oven so I'm only gonna be cleaning the stovetop today This was around, I believe, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and so I couldn't bring the trash can outside to hose it down, so I brought it into my shower. I didn't show you that process because the lighting was so yellow, I couldn't adjust it, and I just couldn't work with it on my video, and so yeah, that's what basically I am doing. It's just wiping off the water. And This was also on my to-do list was to get in here and actually take everything out and clean the floor. I actually had detergent fall on the floor and I never cleaned it like two months ago, maybe three. And then the box that was back here got covered in it. But that is actually more pieces to this laundry concoction that I made. I actually made it on my own 
it's actually way bigger it's for like the bigger washer and dryer but you guys know I have everything pretty much mini and so I kind of just like put pieces together and made it my own I know I had someone in the comments like I looked on target.com and I didn't find it but it's like it's because I made it myself with the pieces that it came with if that makes sense <laughs> Honestly, I was getting so overwhelmed with having the washer and the dryer right near my refrigerator and so I dedicated this closet to that. It just makes it so much easier. If I have to drag it out, I'll drag it out. Usually I just use an extension cord for the dryer and I just leave it there. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but my extension cord, I was actually using it for something else. So as you can see, it's on Sire's stool tower thing. Yeah, so now I have my trash can beside the oven and I just feel like it's easier and it just, it looks cleaner. Like I don't have to look at wires and things like that. that big jug of Dawn soap. I actually stopped using it on my dishes about two months ago. Whenever I was eating or drinking something, that's all I smelled coming from my plate, my cup, and I would just lose my appetite. I started buying the clear and non-scented just so you guys don't understand how happy I am to be moving because I'll be able to have a kitchen table. We'll be able to eat like a family. I feel like having this is like for just like a couple and having kids and stuff it's just it's not for that like if you have a family this bar stool thing that I have going on here like it's really convenient because our apartment is small but our family has grown and I just feel like it's just time for that <music> Once a month, I do move my couches to mop underneath and also vacuum because crumbs get under here, toys, whatever you can think of will get under here. But that's why it's not too bad because I do keep up with it. I'm missing a clip from when I was steam mopping. I don't know what happened. Either I didn't click the record or it got deleted somehow. I don't know. One of my vlogs that I did redo the boys room I didn't really redo it I just kind of like reorganized everything this cube was actually in David's closet but I moved David's closet into our room and then the outside 
closet is just like my jackets and stuff. It's pretty wiggly, this shelving unit. I'm working with what I have for now until I move because I really wanna just buy things. But like I said, I'm gonna wait until I move and I know what space I'm working with because I also need to buy dressers for my room and also for the boys' room. on my to-do list because everything was so unorganized I usually just take the trash out and just kind of throw everything else of the kids on here so at the top I have like lotion their brush nail clipper anything to do with body care or anything like that I have at the top and then I put the wipes at the bottom and then I have Weston's diapers in the middle and then sire's boxers i did end up moving them i can't let them take my soul nah 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 oh i can't let them take my soul nah 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 no oh i can't let them take my soul nah 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 no see we was cool right before i hit your fist but he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. I know that I can use these bins into that cubicle I have Sire's toys on, but honestly, I really wanted to have this room be a playroom, especially me as a stay-at-home mom. I want them to be able to have their own play space and their toys to be out so they can actually see what they have. Aiden, on the other hand, he's old enough to like dig through his toys, so that's why it's in that treasure chest. Like I said, when we move, I will be getting a bigger dresser for the boys, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this so many times but I buy as I go so if I see that the boys need more sweatpants more shirts more socks I'll go and buy them what they need I don't just splurge on a bunch of random stuff and then I just have a bunch of crap sitting around not being used and yes oh I can't let them take my soul they thinking I'm bluffing but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. We're sending you verb if I get my little Uzi. They thinking I'm crazy, I'm gon' see you the haters. People I'm saying ain't get what I'm painting. A picture big, I call it little baby. If I'm on the board, then we playing chess. If you on my way, you gon' need a vest. Act big, you might get stretched. All your gun talk, I ain't impressed. My 45 seen real traffic. That's Dallas, Texas. My little partner called her body four Maserati. He told him get about the car, hit him with the shoddy. That 12th gauge gave him life in the 12th grade. I tried to write him, but we ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping, I just had to let him know. It ain't the end of times yet, I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and helping me get through this to-do list. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul.